Let's go. Introduction and one and open two. Pull up, head straight front, elbow up and plie. Robert Joffrey, choreographer and teacher, has never thought of his company in the usual sense of soloists on one hand and members of the core on the other, but more as a repertory company in which each dancer is very important and very individual. And reach arabesque and back and fifth, back and fifth and one and four and open and four. Lean back, good. Up, fifth, reach, plie, long line, and stretch, hug the floor with the foot, plie, head on fast and reach. Robert Joffrey formed his company to present two specific kinds of ballets, new works created especially for that company, and certain great ballets from the recent past that would give the company a tradition of its own. Modern classics like Leonid Massin's Parade. These unique works demanded to be seen in their own right. The Parade to me has always been very special because it was the idea of very great talents working together to create a unique ballet. It was, I felt, sort of the first multimedia ballet because not only the dancing was important, the art, those wonderful costumes that are like cubistic uh, sculptured pieces that move. And so when later, many years, I wanted to do a ballet called Astarte, I wanted to utilize the medium of film because that's a very important thing that America has contributed a great deal to. And that really is our time. And also the rock music and the use of lights and two special dancers. I had Trinette Singleton and Maximosa. Because you see, often an idea comes because you have very special dancers and you feel close to them and you want to create something for them. And they make you want to create something because of the way they move. And that's really how Stardy came about. From the I think I'm always proud of the dancers and the way they work with choreographers in that their eagerness to try to do what the choreographer wants artistically to convey the ideas of the choreographer and to add something perhaps the choreographer didn't see at the beginning. Robert Joffrey always wanted to create a ballet to the romantic song cycle which Richard Wagner composed for his beloved Mathilde Wesendonck. One of his young dancers, Francesca Corkel, had the fluidity of movement and musicality which were perfectly suited to his vision. In 1973, he choreographed the ballet Remembrances. <laughs> More. Joffrey's dancers have an almost religious feeling about performing Kurt Jos's choreographic picture yeah. of war, The Green Table. Jos has worked closely with the dancers to preserve the authenticity of this unique work, which he created for his own company in the Germany of 1932. <laughs> I feel Green Table is never dated. Its subject matter is always important. Unfortunately. Perhaps, unfortunately, mm. perhaps someday in the future, the subject matter will be something that we can say is dated. But I always call it a ceremony. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, not a, it's not a ballet, it, it's a dance of death, it's a sort of religious ceremony uh, in, in a way. And you dance death on the first performance? Yes, well, actually, uh, that was one of the reasons for, the, for, for doing the table, because I wanted to dance death. <laughs> it's very uh, demanding. Can, yes, it is rather demanding. Right. It's, it's something different. Yes. It is dance, but, uh, but it's dance without, you know, dance without frills, yes. I would say. There were six dancers in 1956 when the company was formed. One of the original dancers at that time was Gerald Arpino. Today, 
He is the associate artistic director of the City Center Joffrey Ballet and its resident choreographer. I'm very much a topical choreographer and director in the sense that I tune into what's happening in my country at a particular time. I'm very aware of my people. And you'll see this reflected, particularly in Trinity. It is a work that expresses the um, anxieties, the, the hopes, the, the voices of the people at this particular time, which were the 60s. It was the end of the 60s and uh, coming into the 70s. We were all beginning to listen to the, to the uh, voices of what the young people in our country were saying. When you see Gary Chris fist surging up and pulling down and, and cutting the earth, he's speaking for all of us. Told you. And one. Did you like quasi, Kevin? Quasi? That's right. Up. Plie. Right arm forward. Reach. Lift. And up. Good. Watch the hyperextension elbow. Arms in second now. Second on fast. Arms down, head. And one. Open the arms with the leg. Up. And fifth. Center. Change your head. Good. Plie. And do one. Center. Arms over the head. Good. Hold the back. Smoothly. Plie. Second. Head up. And down. First position. and three and four and five and six and seven and back, back. Then side three, put about side three, put about, that's all, all right? Introduction and. Drum it more. And lift and fifth, up. Plie arabesque and arm second. Plie, arms up, side, one, and two. Up, keep your shoulders down. Plie, left, repeat, up, and fifth, hold the back. Good. Plie, and up. Arms down, hold your back up. Good, thank you, get ready for rehearsal. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, thank you, thank you, good. Go. Rehearsal, Jerry, Penny. Thank you.